Hello, everybody. You've tuned in to the Indiana State Police Roadshow brought to you by the Indiana State Police Alliance, Cops for Kids, subsidiary of the Indiana State Police Alliance. We want to thank them for the continued support of the Indiana, Indiana State Police Roadshow. Tom Trial, our man who puts us on YouTube each and every week, and our videographer for the State Police, thank you very much for your continued support of the Indiana State Police Roadshow. Good morning, Patrick. How you doing, Rich? I'm doing well. How about you? Not too bad. Master Trooper Patrick Etter, who's been on here before many times, talked to me about various things. He is uh, with the Indiana State Police SWAT team and also does something uh, behind the behind the scenes that's very important to the Indiana State Police and, the, and uh, to keep things going in the remembrance of uh, Patrick Bartram is the uh, Patrick Bartram Memorial and uh, motorcycle ride and uh, scholarships and giveaway for cops for kids and everything. So we're going to talk about that again today. But let's get a little background on uh, how this all started and, and all, uh, unfortunately how this got started. Well, Trooper Pat Bartram uh, was killed in the line of duty in 1998 in a car crash in March of 98. And uh, he participated in the local FOP shop with a cop year after year after year. Very big in that very big in that and uh and pat was a kind of a quiet guy but that was one of his things that he really enjoyed doing and and uh so after he was killed his sisters um, wanted to carry on that tradition in his name and started having a motorcycle ride in honor of him and then the money they raised they donated to um the local shop of the cop right and uh, so that that kept going year after year after year, and it it got up to 220 bikes, I think, was the biggest year they've ever had. Um, so she donated all that money to that cause, and then uh, we would go as state troopers to represent her and and Pat and, and would be recognized for their contributions. And uh, so Kim, after many, many years, decided she wanted to – uh, start her own foundation so about i guess it's been three or maybe four years now i think so three i think you're right uh and i always went to the rides and she'd, she'd say hey can you talk to the news i don't want to do that and so i helped a little bit here and there and she came to me and said hey can you help me with this endeavor and i said yeah 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 sure uh, next thing you know i'm the president of the trooper bartram <laughs> memorial foundation and co-founder and uh that's why it usually happens, isn't it? it that's the way it happens. <laughs> so uh, she keeps me very busy. Um, you know, everybody in our organization is volunteer. Nobody yeah. gets paid for anything. 100% of everything we collect goes to the foundation. And we do one big event a year, which is the uh, Trooper Bartram Memorial Ride. Right. Um, and that's what raises most of the money for um, our event, which is usually the first Saturday in December is our Trooper Bartram Christmas for Kids. Uh, last year we took, I believe, 217 kids shopping, and s I wrote a check for just shy of $25,000. It was that, an, uh, it was an amazing day. day. There was a lot of people there. A lot of people there. Yeah. We filled up that, that Walmart. That, that Walmart in Canby was very full, and not only with participants, but officers from every color of uniform and firefighters, EMS. When I started my police career... Um, you know, I worked in Morgan County at the Sheriff's Department, got on as a trooper, um, worked night shifts. So it was all kind of one big family. So yeah. I've kind of wanted to carry that on and invite officers from every agency. And actually, the Southport Police brought 34 officers last year. It yeah. must have been their whole force, I yeah. guess. But, yeah. um, so I invite troopers and all the sheriff's deputies and all the local police officers, everybody that wants to attend. We've had officers from Terre Haute drive over and do our shopping. So we... We can't do that without those police volunteers. And I also invite all of our sponsors, um, people that donate a lot of money to this, and, and I want them to see exactly where their money goes. Um, and that made a big impact on some of those people because they didn't realize th how how big, you know, it was how big this was or to see these kids and, and how it affects them. So, Well, not only that, but I was surprised last year. There was a, there was a football team there. From one of the schools. Yep, one of the football teams uh, volunteered to help package gifts at the end. And yeah, that that's a great help when we have uh, volunteers like that to come yeah. in and 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 they can see less fortunate and and give back to their communities and things like that. And it's yeah, a good day. Yeah, the uh, community involvement in that is is just aspiring to see what the what goes on and how long how it is and, and it's it's a cool event because uh, you see people from all walks of life uh, come in and help out and. Uh, mm -hmm. 
and those kids are just so appreciative of of being with a police officer and yeah and being are. able to talk to them yes they are well let's talk a little bit about the motorcycle ride i know uh you've had different types uh, we've had them escorted, non-escorted. Uh, we've had different routes. What's what's going to be happening this year? We're going to do a poker run type ride again this year. That seems to be the easiest way for us to do it and, and what people like the most. Um, and by doing a poker run, we can involve anybody that wants to, to participate. So you don't necessarily have to have a motorcycle to do this. You can you can do it in your car. Just if you want to come down and register and then hit all the stops, There's there's – Three. Explain what a poker run is. Well, you basically your registration buys you like a poker card. So there's it's a five hand draw, and your first one is at the registration area <clears throat> at Southport Harley Davidson, or I'm sorry, Southside Harley Davidson in Southport. Right. So that's your first stamp you get. Then you go to Westside Harley Davidson, and you get another stamp, and then Tow Yard Brewery downtown Indianapolis, you get another stamp, and then Renegade Classics. A motorcycle outlet is the next stop and get a stamp and then you finish at the fishers uh post 470 right in uh, off 126th street uh in, on state road 37 and fishers where you get your fifth stamp and then so then you draw five cards and whoever has the best hand um with that five card draw wins the prizes so our first place prize is 300 dollars cash wow um, our second place is 200 third place is 100 now last year i believe most of that prize money actually was donated back, back. to the foundation by the people that that uh, won those prizes so oh, that's excellent but those are the the prizes so you can do it in a car you can do it in a motorcycle you can do it however you want and you can take your time <clears throat> take your time we do have somewhat of a time limit our last vehicle out would be about 11 a.m and we'd like you to be back at the legion about 1 30 or so if you can hit all those so don't don't linger don't too, long. too long um i know like it's uh, west side harley davidson anybody that participates in the ride gets 15 percent off that day if you want to go in and buy a shirt or something tow yard brewery has things to give away too um so if you want to come back and have dinner there at another point in time they're they're going to have some giveaways and some coupons and things like that same with um with the renegade classics and stuff so so be back at the legion about 1 30 and um and th- now at the start of the ride we'll have all of our state police displays and equipment from our specialty teams we'll have our swat um armored vehicle there again scuba will be there eod our uh our robot dog so that's going to be unique for the people to come up and actually talk to you and see what you guys have as far as equipment and can be hands-on and look at it and talk to you about how you use it right most people don't see some of that stuff yeah. it's kind of behind the scenes uh, you know you might see their armored vehicle traveling down the the highway going to a call or something but that's about it this this way you get to actually talk to the troopers and you get to get inside those vehicles and kind of look around and and see what the state police is about and what we do and things like that so well again you're listening to the indiana state police roadshow brought to you by the indiana state police alliance cops for kids i'm talking with us senior or master trooper patrick etter we're talking about the uh, pat bartram memorial motorcycle ride that's coming up saturday july 8th 8th saturday july 8th and uh so we get back to the american legion at 1 30 what's going to happen there well once you get to the american legion well that's at the registration area we'll have some food for you serve some breakfast and things like that once you get to the legion we'll actually have a, a full dinner for you a barbecue dinner um, with all the sides and everything like that. That's part of your registration. Um, registration's $35 for a double rider, and you get a T-shirt with that, and then um, $20 for, a, I believe, a single rider. I think it's 25 for single, and then $20? No, 20, 20 for a single, oh, is 35 it? for double, okay. and then it's uh, $5 off if you register, pre-register. Okay. And you okay. can do that on our website, bartrammemorial.com. Okay. And there's also a, a discount for police and military and fire. Uh, the day of so so if you pre-register you get a little bit off but um so pretty much you're 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 having a a good meal and everything eating eating twice and getting a free t-shirt yeah exactly and uh (laughs) so once we get to the legion you'll have a meal um there's going to be a band and then we'll give away our all of our prizes and then we'll have a silent auction okay of a lot of donated things and then a live auction of uh, many of our donated items and those include signed uh, sports memorabilia from the pacers the colts um, giveaways for hotel from hotels and packages like that uh, signed john mellencamp guitar wow um, v- there's tons of giveaways that we'll we'll be having and then we'll have a 
50-50 raffle and pull tabs and things like that that you can win state police hats. Um, we've raided the museum out there and, <laughs> and got a bunch Good. of stuff. So there will be some, some things like that that people can win. And we'll give away some awards. Our Volunteer of the Year, we, which we give away every year to somebody that kind of steps Step. up and goes beyond um, and contributes. And uh, so we'll recognize that and a few other people that day. So what uh, what time does registration actually start? Because you're going to have your bike leave at, at what, 11 o'clock. Right. Registration is from 9.30. Okay. And then we want the last bike out at 11. So, so you, you can leave an between 9.30 and 11 and take your time to go on all this. That's correct. We'll have a small ceremony about 10 o'clock okay. at, at the Harley-Davidson, um, Southside Harley-Davidson, where we'll say a prayer and, and say a few words. and then But everybody's free to kind of go on their own from okay. that point. And then uh, we want to try everybody to try to be back to Legion around 1.30. Okay. So, so if you're just going to the Legion, so if you don't want to participate in the ride whatsoever, yeah, we would like to invite you just to come to the Legion. Okay. And um, we would request a small donation maybe for the meal, and but come in and eat. Yep. And mainly we want you to come in and, and spend buy, money and at the auction. Spend money at the auction because <laughs> that's really this is the only event where we raise funds for it. and and we need like I said around twenty five thousand. And that's to do 217 kids. Right. Um, Kim advised me yesterday, informed me that uh, she really, her goal is 250 this year. <laughs> she so keeps up in it every year. She, she does up it every year. So um, I, I like to keep it around 200. To, that's a manageable number. Logistical reasons. But uh, she wants to do 250. So if, uh, if we have the money, we'll do 250 kids is uh, what we'll try to do. And you've done this every year since 1999, isn't that right? Yeah, she's yeah. raised money for this every year. And so I've pretty much went and done the shopping at various FOPs right. and places in honor of the Bartram, um, in honor of Trooper Pat Bartram. So um, like I said, this is our third or fourth year is actually our our own nonprofit organization. And it's going to be held, uh, when is it sec first December? First week? First Saturday of December. December. Is that and way it doesn't um, conflict with the other FOP shop with the cops because some of these officers do multiple two or three of these yeah and uh, so ours is that first Saturday in December which I believe this year is December the second if I'm correct and that's going to be at the Camby uh, Walmart correct be at the Walmart in Camby off State Road 67 that is December that's so, not the first full week of December right just the first Saturday okay that would be December second correct right. yeah. And that will be at the uh, Walmart, so uh, in Canby. Now let's go over this one more time. We got about two minutes left here. Give all the uh, uh, times and dates and everything where this so is going to be. July eighth at Southside Harley Davidson in Southport. Uh, registration from nine thirty to eleven. Last bike out at eleven. We'll have a program there in the morning and some food for you. Um, there'll be three other stops along the way. Um, and then it'll finish at the American Legion off 126th Street, just west of State Road 37 in Fishers. And uh, that'll start around 1.30 or so. And we'll have a program, uh, a full dinner. Um, the American Legion is graciously going to cook all that food for us and, and serve it. So we'll have a full dinner. We'll have a live and silent auction of all of our items, which is well over 100 different items probably oh, wow. to give away and, um, and uh, our prizes and awards. So, uh, important question here, rain or shine? Rain or shine. So, so if it rains, well, leave the bike at home and bring your car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or just show up at the Legion, and you can buy you can buy a poker hand at the Legion for $5 a stop. So 25 bucks will earn you a chance to win 300 Plus a uh, uh, T-shirt. I don't know, the T-shirts are unique every year. Have you changed the design again this year? Uh, just the back of it with the sponsorships. Okay. Um, I like the front. Yeah, I do so too. we changed the year. So, I like yeah. that. That looks good because I've got one from every year. That this we... year they'll be gray with some blue writing, blue and black and silver writing. So I think they'll look pretty good. Kind of year. a collector's item. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got to well, collect every year. Absolutely. Well, Patrick, thank you for coming in and being with us again. Everybody uh, get out there on July 8th. Start out. Have a good time. Fellowship uh, again. It's a great event. And uh, the money, all that money goes towards uh, the uh, Christmas Bartram Christmas for Kids, so uh, make sure you participate in that. If you can't make it, you can also get on the website, BartramMemorial.com, and donate there you throughout go. the year. Good. So we appreciate it. Again, thanks to the Indiana State Police Alliance, Cops for Kids, subsidiary of the Indiana State Police Alliance, for their support for this. We want to thank uh, Bartram Memorial for uh, coming in, or Patrick, for coming in and talking about the Bartram Memorial ride July 8th. Thanks for listening to The Road Show. The Road Show is out.